finally, finally, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally happening. We are getting content. Jesus Christ, it's been 84 years. So yes, you heard me right. We are finally getting our mid-season patch as well as our usual collection event. And this one, I know everybody is going to love. And also, if you notice, we got a new logo, we got a new cover, and we have an intro. The wolf icon just wasn't doing its purpose anymore. So go on with the old and in with the new. All right, so let's talk about what we can expect with this update on Tuesday. First, the event is named Genesis. This event looks like it's based around looking back into the events of legends lifestyles at some point as you can see with some of the skins that we are getting you can see crypto in his joe park skin looking like how he actually looks like in real life Loba in her thief skin what she wore when she was living in the city life stealing from everybody bangla in her imc uniform when she served her time in the military and much more as always there are the price trackers with this event and this time around you could get two free legendary skins one for the char driver and one for the eva 8 shotgun as well as our rare watson skin four charms trackers for two legends as well as the event loading screen and badge one change with the price tracker is you can earn up to 16 hundred points daily now instead of the usual 1000 points now if you thought the throwback stuff was gonna end there with the skins oh you are so wrong because the LTM that we get for this event is the OG map layout for Kings Canyon and World's Edge. Many OG players will be happy to see this and many new players who never got to play the original maps will definitely enjoy them. Of course, this means areas like Capital City, Fuel Depot and Drill Site in World's Edge gonna come back as well as Thunderdome, Cascade and the one and beloved area everyone loves, Skulltong. It's all gonna come back. If it makes you feel any better seeing Skulltong being only available for this event you are still also so very wrong because it's gonna stay in arenas there's still more to see like the heirloom for this event it's actually gonna go towards revenant and what he's getting it's literally a f***ing sight the man is literally the grim reaper now he has a sight like how can you not want this? There's also some store offers and some offers are returning skins from previous events. So yeah, you better get your credit cards ready. That's pretty much the event itself. Now we have to look at the balance changes and what we could look forward to. In rapid fire mode, let's get over everything. Octane pad increased time has went up from 60 to 90 seconds. Revenant hitbox has been slightly slimmed down as well as his stalker passive climb height has been buffed. In exchange with these buffs, silencing somebody will last only up to 15 seconds now in 20 seconds and reduced time on the death protection has been shortened to 5 seconds. Lifeline's hitbox has slightly been increased in the legs and waist area. Scanning enemies with Bloodhounds tactical will only stay up for 3 seconds instead of 4 seconds and the ultimate has been decreased from 35 to 30. You can still add more time to your ultimate when you knock somebody. And the biggest buff out of anybody that could ever get in Apex Legends history. I don't think anybody is ready to experience this huge buff that we're gonna get. All 12 Watson mains are gonna be hyped for this buff the ones that us actually play watson for skill and not for her skins just wait for it just drum roll or drum roll you can place more than one nessie dong when you use your emotes i told you it was a big buff all 12 watson mains be punching the air right now <laughs> All right, weapon changes now. The P2020 rate of fire has been increased as well as the ammo count for all magazine sites, including the base. Spitfire hip fire accuracy has been increased, exactly what this weapon needed. The damage and the magazine size is perfectly fine, just what we needed to bring down the gun. It's not perfectly fine, please nerf it. Just, just nerf it, please. The 30-30 projectile speed is slightly faster, as well as the charge up time is also slightly faster now. And the longbow damage is now 60 instead of 55. Arenas is also getting a lot of updates as well, here are all the weapon price changes. I do not have the time to go through all of them, so you can just pause the video and have a quick look. The Arc Star cost is now 125 and the Gold Bag is now 300. Crypto EMP is now 500 and his drone is 50. Revenant's Totem is also 500 now. Lifeline's Dock Drone is 75. Fuse Knuckle Cluster is 75 also. And Bloodhound's Ultimate increased to 450. Some adjustments to Legend abilities are Pathfinder will start with 2 grapples now instead of 3. And now you have to buy his Ultimate every other round now. This also applies to Rampart torrent watson's pylon octane's jump pad and also for octane you can start with three stems instead of two a scoreboard has been added to the map screen allowing you to keep track of everyone's progress including the enemy's score you can also report players from the scoreboard menu as well from round three moving onwards you will also get a free shield battery to start off the round the care packages will drop five seconds earlier and the six times sniper scope has been removed off a snipers by default there are also some small changes to party crushers like the circle will end any the 
Hong Tong area much more and some adjustments to the minimap layout and also for phase runner they increase the height of some props for better coverage for the larger legends and they add more trees in the area to stop spawn sniping and to end off this video with the quality of life changes there's a better UI for Valkyrie to show when her fuel is running out low Rampart will have her own custom reload animations on LMGs and they added voice lines to the game to show that your ultimate is ready as well as showing you what is your percentage on your ultimate for your whole team to see there are others but it's not really that interesting to me there are also the bug fixes nothing too serious that got fixed and that's really it overall it's really not that bad of an event will this be the best event we'll ever see we'll have to see next week tuesday but what do you guys think are you hyped were you disappointed with what we got anything from this event stood out to you let me know in the comments down below also drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe to help the channel grow and for more apex legends content i hope you all are doing great keep it at 100 and i will see all of you all in the next video later